What's up, YouTube? My name is John Jagsney, and welcome to my series, What the Fuck is After Effects, where we break down a very specific part of this fun but complex piece of software. Let's save you some time and dive right into today's topic. Okay, so in After Effects, you have the little home button and just very quickly, if you hit the home button, it'll bring up this window and it'll be like, hey, do you want a new project? Do you want an open project? Do you want to just, a, hey, here's your all, all your other projects. Do you want to do any of that? And then you can interact with uh, your Creative Cloud account if you wanted to. We're gonna just skip this part of the video because uh, you don't want to see my Creative Cloud. But yeah, that's what the home button does. Now let's actually dive into the fun stuff. So the first part in the toolbar here, whatever this is called, is the selection tool. You get to the selection tool by hitting V on your keyboard and it's pretty straightforward. You can move things around with it, you can scale things. So let's uh, take this photo here and we can just move it around. We can scale it up, we can hold shift and then retain the properties of it. The selection tool is pretty basic. You just select a layer in your timeline. You can select layers here as well and do that fun stuff. Like I said, you can change the scale and if you hold shift, it will retain those properties. But you can also do some cool things with shape layers. So if you have this shape here, you can move it around and scale it but you also realize that the anchor point of it is moved over here. So you can do some other things with it, but you do have to be conscious of where your anchor point is on your layer. Now I have this array of shapes right here and it's just one layer, but here's the problem. What if I wanted to move just one of these shapes on the layer? Well, if you double click, then you will go deeper into that layer and you can move that shape. Now if you double click, or if you just keep clicking, if you, if you have a super complex, deep shape layer with a lot of shapes in it, if you just keep clicking, eventually you'll get to it. And you can move it around and just double click on that, and move it around. Now if we go back to our layer, unselect it, and then reselect it, now we're moving all of those shapes. If you're, wherever you're selecting, if you have an active layer behind it, it'll just default to that selection. So the way you work around that is you lock your layers. So if I were to select here, I do have a background behind it, but I did have some locked layers under it and hidden with this hide button right here. So yeah, that's the selection tool. All right, my friends, that is today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. If you learned something, let me know in the comment section down below or just drive a truck into that like button. It lets me know that I'm making content that is valuable to you. If you wanna check out some of the cool things I offer, the links are going to be in the description down below. And until next time, my name is John Jagsney. I appreciate you and I will leave you with this. Eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Goodbye. Put the place up.